30 years had passed, decades without rain. The once fertile plains of Fars had become as barren as the Lut Salt Desert. A few arrow shots from Persepolis, the Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking Persia. Persian soldiers defended the land, no matter the cost. Ardashir resisted heroically, but his men fell one by one. Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle. For Yuvishka, the Kushan general, victory was certain. Until history took a different turn. The Seven Immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. Onward, immortals! Anahita! Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. I will go help my wounded warriors. Let's go, Sargon. Oh God, it's the Russia bar. None of you will leave here alive.
fast. <laughs> My Elias cleared the path. Follow me, Sargon. Thirty years had passed. Let's go. Be on your guard. It's the reservoir. We must eliminate those Kushan archers. Leave it to me! your way so you can catch up! Ah! <laughs> 
must not be far. Let me handle him. Take this. You might need it. Yaviska, you can't hide from me. Shabar, was it? 
<laughs> Your life ends here. Not if yours ends first. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia, has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. Thirty years ago, the divine bird Simurg graced my shoulder thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Today, I, Tamiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varum, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Hassan, Prince of Persia! Step forward, Sargon. Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the black wind that destroys all in his path. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. The winds also carry the seeds of future harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Prince Hassan. Let us drop the honorifics, and may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. As you wish, Hassan. I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka. And we saved Persepolis. Did we? Thousands died on the battlefield. We're out of supplies. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? I let my pride go to my head. A warrior's journey is always one in progress. And when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I know. 
Found an answer yet? I won't figure that out tonight. Maybe a drink will help. You should join us. Thanks, but I have other matters to attend to. You have what it takes to become one of the greatest, Sargon. I know. Just watch me. And listen to Varum. He will keep you on the right path. I'm telling you, Prince Hassan may be my son! <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He looks nothing like you. He took everything from his mom, that's all! <laughs> <laughs> all right, you are really not her type. Who's type? Ah, the kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. <laughs> the Queen's new protégé. So, you're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? Or trading in your swords to become a satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. You were impressive. If you want to talk more quietly, I won't be far. So, will you still remember us now that you're famous? <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble. And find what is at the end of my blade. Oh. Sounds like Anahita set your head straight. Um, sort of. In her own way. You know, it is amazing what you did. You should be proud of yourself. We all are. One of our own eliminated the Kashan general. Outstanding. And you are the White Lion's pride. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> you have always been destined for greatness. And with Sargon's bravery, that's another one for the history books. We made the city safe. The people are at peace again. This is cute, but can we go celebrate now? Our usual halt has food and drinks on the house. Varum, you're coming with us. I wouldn't miss it. Varum! Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Kidnappers? They must still be in the palace. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. And I his guards.
Anahita, what is this all about? I wasn't planning on killing you, Sargon. Stay out of this. Move out of my way. What the hell was that? Ah, uh, still a child. Sargon, who was it? I thought I recognized Anahita. Is she involved? Yes, she is. Without a doubt. Baram, gather your forces. You are to leave for Mount Kaf at once in search of Prince Hassan. Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. We need all the help we can get. We will not fail you, Your Majesty. Bring him back. Bring back my son. <laughs> Citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon, you know her best. What do you make of it? It doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. Oh, what do you even mean? The Simorg may have disappeared. But the mighty god used to live on Mount Kaf, and perhaps still does. It has always been the Samorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg's blessing like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Samorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and find Prince Hassan. <laughs> Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. Thank <laughs> you. 